Okay, what's your opinion about the Islamic world these days? Well, we wish like we were saying it. I mean, that feel like it should be all peace and perfect, but it's not. I mean, we know that uh, it comes to many factor, uh, factors like political and, I mean, uh, things, like culture and the power. And, uh, the power. So it's, uh -huh. that's what it is. I mean, it's like we wish that we all go through the path and follow it like it should be. But yes. unfortunately, it's not what we see. That's right. That's right. Do you have anything to add? Same, same as what she said. Okay. Um, how do you think you should do dawah to other people, like, you know, to show that Islam is like good and peaceful based on our Dawa. actions based on our actions how we behave how do we interact with others that's the best that's the best hour and respect respect others and when they want you know to to know something give them a little bit of time uh, so that you know we can explain to them whatever they don't understand mm -hmm. you have well, anything to um um Especially with or or like our family, okay, that used to explain them exactly what is Islam. It's unfortunately, what we see in the in, in the TV is not what it is really. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, it's not so. So it's kind of hard for us sometimes. It's like going back and let them know what is true and what is not true about what they show in on TV, TV. for example. They go by the media. So, so that's one of the things, and doing that was at least explain people around us, or family around us, what Islam it is. Mm -hmm. so what is the meaning of Islam? And you know, let them guide for all the publicity, bad publicity of what's going on out there, mm -hmm. especially at this time. Exactly. Now we're gonna do the five, the five words thing. We ready? Okay. Um, could you just comment on what do you understand when you hear these following words? Um, the love of Allah. Um, how merciful he is with us and compassion, compassion with us. Lovable. Okay. The Prophet Muhammad. That's his last messenger. I mean, it's, that's one of the things that people don't believe us. That he was up there, just as another message, which was Prophet yes. Muhammad, peace be upon him. I okay. think we were just asking one, a brother that, that knows a little about the Bible. He said that there is something in San Juan. In yeah. one of these. But if you go to Mexico, nobody knows. Oh, I know. It's, it's like nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody just completely yeah. understands who is Muhammad. Yeah. So it's like. The last it's message. Exactly. So it's the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, zakat. Zakat. Uh, alhamdulillah, we understand that um, we zakat can. has been done as many charity yeah. in, in, in many ways. Many ways. In it many could ways. Be not only financially, but it could be through actions, helping, um, smiling, mm -hmm. listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, obedience. Like, uh, like this, it's like oh, to just go ahead and, and and like for example, my mom, I'm, I'm try to be kindness to her because I know that's something that allows me to be obedience to my parents, yes. to obedience to my mom, obedience to to my my relatives. So it's it's like okay, try try to get involved and try to have the life um, make it easier for everybody as an obedience of Allah to, to help everybody mm -hmm. to try to do what Allah is asking me to do as a Muslim. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like something there. Everybody she said this. Okay. And the last word, angels. Angels. Um, yeah. Go first. Oh, angels. I, when I hear the word angels, I remember um, the angel Gabriel that revealed the the message to the Prophet Muhammad is this is what comes to me. Um, they don't make mistakes. Um, every 
every every message that has been revealed to the prophets has you know has gone through the angels through the angels. Mm -hmm. I, I, I when I the more angels come to me, it's like uh, the most beautiful creation of Allah. Okay, and and they they're there. We know they're there, and to 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 they see us and. We know the essays, and we have oh. two of them. Okay, we know. Oh, we have the ones that are writing, <laughs> are writing our actions and everything, our exactly. good deeds. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we know. Okay, salamu alaikum. Malika salam. Um, first of all, could you tell us your names and something a little bit about yourself, like where you grew up, where you live now, and you can go first. Okay. My name is Estela Duran. Mm -hmm. And he interpreted for me. Okay. Can the mic pick up? Can the mic pick up? His yeah. Voice? Uh, as long as you project. Project. Your questions. Yeah. Okay. Project your voice. Todo. Yo no le voy a traducir lo que ellos preguntan. Todo lo que usted diga, digan en español. Okay. Uh, just to tell us your name and a little bit about yourself, where she grew up, where she lives now. Su nombre, un poquito acerca de usted, y donde creció, donde vive hoy. Okay. Empiezo a tapar. Okay. Uh, mi nombre es Estela Durán. Uh, nací en México. Sí, nací en México. Um, allá fue donde yo crucé mis estudios de elemental a secundaria, high school y un poco de universidad. Aquí llegué hace 34 años. Eh, empecé a trabajar en fábricas. Y tuve dos hijas, una, dos mujeres. Eh, una se llama Nahila y la otra se llama Seila. Eh, Nahila es la que conoció el Islam primero. Y ella fue la que me invitó a través de folletos, um, de libros, y se me hizo interesantes. Antes de eso, yo pues, en México era católica, y aquí hace como un tiempo atrás conocí el cristianismo, me hice cristiana, uh, y a través de mi hija, pues empecé a estudiar el Islam, de sus. Enseñanza también, me llama por teléfono y me explica. Ella vive en New Jersey. Ella está también al frente de una organización de la hispana allá. Y tengo viniendo a esta mezquita un poquito más de un año, conociendo más el Islam. Lo más interesante para mí del Islam es que yo ya conocía un solo Dios. Uh, y el respeto, el respeto que... que que yo conocía aquí lo reafirmé más y eso me gusta mucho el respeto de, a todas las religiones sobre todo el respeto a, entre los musulmanes mucho respeto a la mujer también educación sobre todo a la mujer que se le puede dar una educación que yo no sabía que en los musulmanes llevaban ¿verdad? también Uh, la, la manera en que se enfoquen en la educación de los niños para mí eso es muy importante que el musulmán trate de que no haya gente analfabeta que la gente esté preparada eso es algo muy grande para mí porque yo crecí en un lugar donde había mucho analfabetismo sobre todo mis padres y muchos familiares eran analfabetas que yo creo que si hubieran vivido en un lugar donde fuera musulmán hubieran aprendido más. Um, pues ahorita lo más que tengo en mente es que le pido mucho a Dios también, que aparte de que la enseñanza es amplia, ¿verdad? De, de que creemos en un solo Dios, en todos los profetas, um, todos los libros que están escritos son respetados. Um, el conocer más del Islam y de los musulmanes, cómo caminaron tan a prisa por el mundo, del sur, del norte de África hasta toda Europa, y cómo llegaron pues, hasta acá, ¿verdad? Y México, porque en México ya hay mezquitas. Uh -huh. También 
tengo mi otra hija, que inshallah le he pedido mucho de que un día se acerque al Islam y lo conozca y también sea musulmán, uh -huh. igual que todos mis nietos. Uh -huh. ¿No? Hasta ahí, uh -huh. no sé si quiero. Okay, do you want to say some do you want to say some English and then